Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. I work with my YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money. Should I bring you some more Madden 18 budget beats? We got wide receivers today, sleepers, guys you can get day one and make your team that much better. You don't have to spend it all on your leg. We're looking at some of the top receivers right here, but you know these guys are going to be mad expensive. So unless you're going to go out and buy a bunch of coins and buy a bunch of packs, uh, you might not be able to get them. But I'll be able to tell you some guys you can get guys that are fast, guys that are tall, guys that have great hands uh, that you can you know throw up and aggressive catch it all day long. Uh, guys you can actually afford without going out and spending actual real money. So if you guys can do me a favor and hook me up with a like uh, for doing all this hard work and this research to pass it on to you guys. I would appreciate that. Other than that, if you have any ideas for the next video you want me to do, uh, leave it in the comment section. Any position, anything. Let's start off with the big guys. First off, we got height here. We got Brandon Coleman, the tallest receiver in the game at six foot six, and a guy that not a lot of people know about. He plays for the Saints. Um, he's a decent receiver. He's had some good games out there. Uh, but either way, this guy right here is all about going up and getting the ball. He's not very fast, but when you got height with certain routes that really benefit height, and I'm hearing that the aggressive catch is back this year. So you're gonna want tall guys. 81 speeds, you know, feasible, he's workable. Uh, 82 acceleration, 81 jump. The jump is what matters. Six foot six with that type of jump. Uh, it's one of the higher jumps in the game right now this early uh, in the season. So this guy is gonna be a guy you want to start outside right away. Next up, we got Martavis Bryant. This is a guy who probably would be an elite by now if it wasn't the fact that he spent the last year and a half out of the NFL because he can't stop smoking weed or something. I'm not sure what his issue is, but at six foot four, and this is one of the few guys that has speed to go with that height. Um, he's an excellent deep speed vertical threat, A6 speed, A7 acceleration, A6 jump, one of the highest jumps, 84 agility, and then his catching stats are all in the high 60 to 70 range. Now for the more realistic budget piece, here's a guy, I don't know if you want to play him outside or inside, the speed guys you can play at slot or you can play as the outside receiver, but JJ Nelson has a little bit of everything. This guy's had some success in the NFL, so they didn't really rob him in catching stats, uh, 70 hands. Uh, six, seven, and you know all in the, all the mid-range catching stats. So he should be able to handle the ball, but his speed is where it's at, man. 89 speed, 88 excel. Uh, his change of direction is pretty good with 86 agility. So his speed guys, like I said, you can play him inside or outside, but this is a guy you got to find. Coming up next, we got Damir Bird. I'm not even sure how you say his name. He just caught like a touchdown bomb in a preseason game too, which is funny. Uh, but not a lot of people know who he is. Uh, he's not too tall. Once again, these guys are going to be short, but his catching stats are pretty good. Uh, 89 speed, 88 excel, 87 agility, and 86 jump. So he should have some uh, some success. But this guy's a complete athlete. Coming up next, my first silver card, Philip Dorsett. This is a guy I did use a lot last year in the slot in my salary tab uh, team. He was uh, an outstanding receiver. Uh, five foot ten. Once again, they're all going to be short, but eight nine speed, eight nine agility. That agility is one of the higher agility, so he's going to be really good at dancing direction, shaking the bacon corners. Uh, this catching stats are kind of poop this year, though. I don't remember being that bad. Um, but if he's anything like the guy he was last year, he was outstanding. A great punt return, too. Next up, we got John Brown. Here's a guy, I thought he'd be in the lead by now, but 78 overall gold, 5'11", one of the taller guys I'm going to show you right now. Uh, but other than that, he's one of the best receiving guys. He's had a lot of success in the NFL, so they didn't cheat him on stats. Look at that 90 agility. That's one of the first 90 overall anythings I've seen in this game. So this guy is going to be an outstanding guy in the slot. 85 jump, 88 speed, um, just all the physical attributes you want. This will probably be one of the better cards that I'm showing you today. Do people still remember Brashad Perriman? I mean, this guy was the hyped beast two years ago when he was a rookie. Hasn't done a thing in the NFL, but I'm willing to bet there's some people that forgot about him. Still a really good player in Madden, though. Six foot two, one of the tallest guys I'm going to show you, and also one of the fastest. 88 speed, 86 excel, 81 jump with that at six foot two. Your frame should give him some uh, some advantages over a lot of corners. His catching stats aren't that great, though. Like I said, he hasn't done anything in the NFL, but he's still a really good player in this game. A lot of these guys are young receivers, underdeveloped. 74 overall, Will Fuller, the fifth. Um, he's six foot one, two, one of the taller guys once again. Uh, and he's got good jump at 80. His physical attributes are all there, though. Speed, acceleration. Uh, his catching stats, all in the 60s range, but you know what? That's not too bad for right now. Um, he should be catching balls, especially if he's wide open with his speed, which is what it'll be. Digging deep right now, we got a rookie. I think it was a second round pick from the Panthers. They have a lot of speed and height, by the way. That is really an undercover team this year, the Panthers offense. Uh, but 5'11", this dude was a running back slash receiver in college. Uh, and his stats show that he's not really the most developed receiver or running back. 
But his speed, 88 overall, 89 acceleration, 85 agility, 82 jump, all pretty good. And then his catching stats are all in the 60s. So this guy is definitely a good slot option for the first day. Next up, we got a speed star guarantee you nobody knows about. Sheldon Gibson, he was a fifth round pick from the Eagles. He's 5'11", silver card. Not a lot of silver cards out there right now. Uh, but perfect for the slot. 88 speed, 87 agility. So he's got a little bit of shake and bake there. His catching stats aren't that great. But to be real about it, he's probably not even going to make the team in the NFL. But um, he's got some really good attributes in that, and so definitely going to be one of the cheapest guys you can find to put in that slot or outside. All right, coming up next, we got Marquise Gilman. This guy's been in the league for years. I think a lot of people know him more as a punt returner, but he's one of the fastest guys in this game. He's only five foot nine, which isn't necessarily an issue when you got speed like this. The second green I've seen, uh, we had a 90 agility. Now we got a 90 acceleration. So acceleration is just as important as speed, and this guy's got the highest I've seen so far. So 88 speed, 90 excel. Catching stats are all in the 60s. That's good enough. Uh, this guy right here is going to be perfect for the slot, or you can just have him deep every play. I mean, you can play, you can figure out how you want to play him, but he's a good player to have on your team. Next up, we got Taylor Gabriel. This is one of the higher rated cards I'm showing you right now. He's an 80 overall, barely an elite. I don't know if he's going to get paid too good as far as, you know, people picking him up. Um, you should be able to get him relatively cheap, but when you look at his stats, he's definitely an upgraded player. I mean, he's 87 speed, 89 excel, 88 jump. Those are all some of the highest. 88 agility, all some of the highest that you've seen as the physical stats go. And he's also got 70 rated catches, which a lot of these guys are a lot lower than that. So this is gonna be one of the best cards. I mean, his, he's an 80 overall, but I'd put him with those stats, I'd put him in a value of close to a 90. Next up, we got a playmaker, Tyler Lockett, 78 overall out of uh, the Seahawks. I mean, this dude, once again, kind of short, five foot 10, uh, but his physical attributes is where it's at again, A7 speed, A6 excel, 89 agility. Um, his catching stats are all in the 70s range too. So a little bit better receivers uh, than some of the guys I've shown you in the past, even though the speed's a little bit down. Uh, definitely a guy to put in the slot that was an 89 agility. Next up, we got one of my personal favorites, Chris Connolly. This is a guy that I used a lot. He had a silver card last year. I used him a lot in uh, salary mode. At six foot three, one of the fastest receivers you can get with size. 87 speed, 86 acceleration, 85 agility. And once again, we got another 90 overall, another green, a 90 jump. So six foot three with 90 jump. His catching stats are all in the 60s, though, so I don't know if he's going to be mossing people, but if you give him a little separation, he's going to be a monster. Next up, another tall guy with speed, Kevin White. A lot of people forgot about this guy. He's done nothing in the NFL, but he's still a really good shell of a player. Uh, let's go and let's take a look at the stats. At 6'3", with 81 jump, that's pretty That's pretty good. And then he got an 87 speed, 85 acceleration. His catching stats, once again, all in the 70 range, so he's got better hands than most of these guys. Um, so, you know, definitely a guy, like I said, a lot of people probably forgot about him, but he's still a really good player. Next up, we got another gold card, Tavon Austin. This guy's not lived up to his draft status, but he's still a hell of an athlete and a great Madden player. 88 speed, 88 excel, and another green, 90 agility. I mean, this guy right here is going to be shaking the fenders out of their shoes. His catching stats are above a lot of the guys that I've shown you, uh, which makes him a much more accomplished receiver. Next up, we got Cordell Patterson. Here's another guy that's actually got height and speed. It's pretty rare in this uh, list I'm doing, but six foot two. Uh, he's got great speed, A6, 86, jump to go with that six foot two, and his agility. I mean, the guy's a kick returner, punt returner, so uh, he's going to have a top notch agility. But with that combination of size, speed, and flexibility, mobility, uh, and catching stats, pretty good too, all in the 60s. Uh, this guy's a very good receiver year after year. So that's it. That's the list. Like I said, if you guys want to see different positions, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section what you want to see me do next, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Money shit out.